Welcome to part one for the partial pre-crease tutorial for the Scaled Dragon by Kevin Hedengren. Hopefully I pronounced your name right, Kevin. So that says his design. It could be a Ryujin crane. I'll put that in the title as well, because why not? But right, so this is a part this is a partial pre-crease tutorial. Now I've done I've already done a few of them. If you don't know what they are then partial pre-crease tutorials are where they are designed to help you learn crease patterns. So what I do is, I show X amount of pre-creasing, like about 60% of pre-creasing, and then you will use the creases that I've given you to figure out the rest. And then it's the same with collapsing. I will collapse a certain amount, you will collapse the rest. So it's all about you diving into this model using what I've given you to try and figure out which helps you understand crease patterns better and hopefully get practice at them. So this is the Scale Dragon by Kevin Hedengren, hopefully I pronounced it again. Make sure to go and follow him, it takes a minute, link in, in the description, give him a follow on Flickr. That, obviously that's the crease pattern as well, but to say. Now this is the crease pattern I will use to colour in to help me keep track. And this is the creases I have already made so far. So basically, do your divisions, collapse the bird base, make all the four folds, and then we're good. But I've only coloured in the creases that are actually actually used in the crease pattern, so I haven't coloured in diagonals because they're not used. So let me hold it in the right direction, which is. I forgot to colour in this part. There we go. So this is the way the crease pattern is. We have this full crease at the bottom, right one here. This is the one I've coloured in fully. Not all of them. This is at the bottom as well, so just to help keep track if I've got the paper turned, it's easier to see like that. And hopefully you can see uh, the creases better. I've got a black pen that I used, so hopefully it's better. But I've still got this rubbish paper. I need to get cami. It's really good for tutorials. Okay, so what we are looking for, the major creases, is mainly, so the main creases that we're going to try and make is this one here, and the same on the other side, so this one, and if we can make these ones go down as well, then we have intersections right here which we can then use to make the 45 degree creases and basically connect up to the other side and of course this way as well so we're aiming to make this one, this one and these divisions okay so we're first of all going to make sure you've got these creases made which you should now we're just going to collapse the bug base Watch me struggle. There we go, so an easier way. Okay, so we have this. Then just petal fold it. Now this square wasn't too perfect when I cut it. So that's why the black creases don't go all the way down to the exact corner or edge of the paper. Now when we make these next set of creases, we'll make extra creases, but I will only colour in the creases that we are actually going to need in the crease pattern. So there may be a few extra. Well there will be a few extra, but again you can watch it and then take your time to see pens in the lot of you can hear that. We can't let them out because they're feeding the birds and they need their food first. Oh, he's out. that was quick. And we have this. Of course, you know what this is, so you should have this. Now, if we collapse the crease pattern like this and then fold up, if you can not tell already, then we have these four divisions, which is one, 
two, three, four. And if we're not sure if it is exactly fourths, we can quickly check by folding corner to corner and unfold it, which is on that blue line. So this is fourths. So what we are going to do now is divide each section into four, which in turn, if we unfold it, will make all of these creases. But there is two ways to do it. You can either do that, which I will do it, I think it's more accurate, or you can take the middle diagonal and fold it to this mark. But the reason you probably shouldn't do this is because we only have this crease to guide us where it stops here. We don't have any extra crease here. So we're not too sure if it should go up a bit more or down a bit. So it's not as easy to be accurate. So I would recommend you do the divisions instead. So now we are going to divide each side into four. Again, make sure you take your time with this. And get it as neat as possible. Like that. Now you, in fact, once we undo, once we do that, unfold it, just to show you, we have four divisions. Now you do the exact same thing here, here. Now that we have made all these divisions, what I'm going to do now is quickly colour in all the creases that we have made, which we will use. So for instance, where, let me hold it in the correct orientation, this way. So where these creases come up and hit this point, the stop here, so I'll colour in to where the stop, so I'll only colour in the creases that we need, so I won't colour in any extra. So let's see if this works again. Wow, it actually worked again. Okay, so now we have made these creases. This is the way the crease pattern is held. Let me just quickly show you as well. I stopped the creases here because we have some sort of spread sinks. So we'll get to that eventually. If I decide to show how you to make it in this partial tutorial. So this is what we have so far. Now we're going to work on this few bit now, make these little diagonals and where are we here so now that we have this crease and this crease where this point this, these two points meet we can make this 90 degree crease right here start from this point which is this point here so we are basically going to this point here just in case you couldn't see we are going to fold up this edge, start the crease from here, and then make it down until it hits the diagonal. Just as the crease pattern shows, it stops here, and it starts here. So we're going to do that. And then we can colour in these creases, because we don't know how far up this crease goes, this diagonal. So fold it over. Again, try to be as accurate as possible. And make sure the side is lined up. Make sure it's not like this. It's not over too much. Make sure it's completely straight. Again, depending on how perfect your square is, it will determine if you need to make it slight adjustments. As long as I'm out. So we're going to start the crease here and stop it here. 
and then unfold it. So we've made that one 90 degree crease. Like so, and then we're going to do the exact same from this point to meet to meet up with this point. And it's, it's quite tricky to see because I've coloured in the creases. Hard to see where they start and stop. And then we have that. Now I'm going to quickly colour this in. So you can see it better. Now we have this. So it's much easier to see what creases we just made. So I've coloured in this one, this one, and also this and this. Because, let me show you where are we here. We can fully colour on this one because we have this point and this point. Again, we have this point right here, which we don't know where it is, but we'll find out in a few moments. So this is what we have so far. We're going to work on this part now. Now, how can we make this crease? We can't because we don't know where this intersection is, we don't know where this point is, or where this, cre this crease meets this point. We know it meets somewhere on this line. So we can't make these creases yet. Can we make this one? No, we can't because we don't know how far up it is to make that. We could make this one because we have this point here and this point which is this point and this point. So we can make a crease straight along and do this right now. So we have that. Even though the black line is there, it decreases down here, so that's correct. I just can't draw in a straight line. Let me just do this real quick to make it easier to show. Normally I use a roller, but there we go. Yeah, oh my god, that was off by a mile. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. I don't know how I was off so much. Yeah, that's better. Got to zoom in. Yeah. So we have that. Let's quickly colour in this one as well. Now, how much is this point here? Is this halfway? I think it is. Let me just make it this way, it's easier. Yeah, so this is the halfway mark. So we can simply fold this point to this point in the center. And then unfold it. Oh, forgot the mark. Now, if you can't tell already, oops, there. these two creases, oops, too close, these two creases here are mirrored on the bisector here. So if we fold this over, the crease lines up. So we're going to fold it over on both sides and then simply crease through the points we have just made. Then when we unfold it, we will make these ones. So fold it over. Let me zoom it actually a bit too close. And then fold this point over as well. Probably easier just to and extend it all the way up. Like that. And then hold it nice and tightly here. You can either do it flat on a table or on your hand like I'm doing now and then just crease through these layers 
Like that. Open it up and then unfold it and shabang we have made those creases just as the crease pattern is. Now we have this. Now I'm only going to show you one more crease or two more exact same creases for this part which will allow you if you could figure it out to pre-crease the rest of these creases and that crease is this one right here the one that goes straight down 90 degree crease if you can't tell you can make the rest of these creases just from this crease which is the reason why I'm only going to show it because I want you to figure out the rest of this on your own so if you hold the paper like this and here is the first intersection which is right here and the second one right here so the 90 degree crease comes straight down through this point and it stops when it hits this crease which is this one here which I've not coloured in yet I'll colour in once I make this one so we are going to basically fold the paper over start the crease from here and then make the which will make this one. So second point, I'm just double check to make sure it is first, second, yep. Fold over. And then one, two, three. Here's the first crease, the second and the third, which is hard to see because it's not covered in. Like that. Now repeat this crease on this side. And this crease could be a halfway point, a quarter, because let me show you. It seems to line up with the, out, the inside crease. It seems to line up with that one. So that could be a fourth. Yeah, it must be. Right, let's colour this in and show you what I've made. Now we have this. So this is what it looks like once it's coloured in. And I coloured in this one, this one, this one here, and this one. Just as the crease pattern is, we have coloured in the creases and this too. Now, I'm not going to show it any more on that side. That's all on you. I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to quickly make two of these sections right here. So first one is simply take, I'm going to make this one. So if you know how to make this, this edge to this edge and stop it right there. So right here. Like that, and then connect this point to this point. Oops, off camera, like that. Now make this crease a mountain fold. So fold this behind and we're going to go through two layers at once this time. Now take this edge, fold it to this edge and stop it right about here. Then unfold and we have Basically, two X's. Oops, off camera again. Sorry about that. So let me quickly colour this in to show you what I mean. And now we have that. So that's what it looks like. I've also done it on the other side as well. The two X's. So we have both X's here and here, which is the exact same on the crease pattern. Two X's here, 
and to here. So we're finished with the bottom part, we are going to zoom out, turn the paper around and work on these bits. So now, if we're looking at these creases, we don't know where this point is. We can't, so we can't make these angled creases so far. What we can make is these creases. And these are the halfway marks between these two, so halfway points. So we simply divide this part in half and this part in half, which will allow us to make these creases. So we're going to do that. So let me just check for a second one. So we're going to divide this one in half, all the way down, and then this one in half, all the way down. And stop it where it hits the, the crease at the bottom. Like so. And then this one and this way should be easier. Like that. Now I'm going to quickly colour it in so it's easier to fold. And we have this. I've also done it on the other side as well, just to keep it symmetrical. So now what we're going to make is. I'm only going to show you how to make the bottom one. You can figure out the top one on your own. Now to make this crease right here, we don't have this point. We have this point, but we don't really have this point. So what we do is, we make this whole crease a mountain fold. And then we fold a bisector of this edge to this halfway mark that we have just made, which makes the creases that we need. So what that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this crease the mountain fold. So I'll fold it all the way up now. Uh, probably do it flat because it'll be easier. So this is the halfway mark. This is the center crease. This is the halfway mark. We need to fold this edge, this edge to the center and stop when it hits this crease somewhere around here. And again when you do this make sure the layers are held firmly in place so the paper underneath doesn't move about. And that's where the crease stops. Right there. Is that in focus? Yeah. I can't really see the crease there, and it's there. So unfold it, and then if we open this up, we have this. So we have that. Now I'm going to quickly colour this in, and then we will make the final adjustment. And we have this. Okay, I've done it on the same on this side. Now, what we are going to do is make one more crease because we can't make. Let me show you where I'm at. We can't make this blue valley fold here until you make these creases because we don't know where this point is. So, again, you figure this out. Once you figure this out, you can then finish off this part. So, we are simply going to connect this point to this point with a mountain fold just like that and then the same on this side okay, and just make sure you're really precise with this so like that and then if we colour it in
you have this. And that is all I'm going to show for the bottom bit. And then we're going to work on the centre. We're going to do a few creases on the centre. And then you are good to go to figure out the rest on your own. Right, now, this is everything we have made so far. What we're going to make now is the crease that I said at the very start. That is a crucial crease that we need in order to make all of these creases. Which is this one right here. So we made this right at the beginning but we didn't actually go ahead and make it. So now we can make it. Let me use the other tool. So the first crease in, let me hold it the correct way first. So it's this way. So we can now just extend this crease here, which is this one here, all the way to meet. In fact, I'm looking at the wrong one. All the way to meet this one. So we can extend it all the way across. So this crease and this crease just connect up in the center. So let's hold this over. Hold it this way actually, it'll be easier this way. Again, make sure you have the crease going fully up the center so it's not at an angle, otherwise your crease will be wrong here and then every crease you make from that wrong crease will be wrong. So make sure it's perfectly straight. I'm just going to double check to make sure it's the right side I've done it on. Yep. So we have just made this crease. And now if we turn it around, we can do the exact same. This crease connects up to this crease. So we can do the exact same. And a quick colour in there. I love doing that. It's so it's such a good trick. I want to teach you how to do it. So that's the crease we have just made. Now I can let me see colour in this part and this part so I can extend these creases up the way because we have done that. So let me just do this on camera then now. You can make, make sure you're holding it the right way, yep, you can make this one, and then the next one. And then the third one. And then this one. This one. And then you can't make anything here. Let's turn it around. Can't make anything here. This one. This one. And this one. And this one. And one more. Okay, so let's. Right, we're wondering, putting this over the way. <clears throat> okay. Now we have made that. We can now make... We're going to figure out where this point is first. We're, we're only going to make this amount of creases. I'm not going to make any in the centre. Because once we make these divisions, you'll basically have every point you need to start bouncing creases across from one another, from one another. So a few more creases to go and then you are set. So how do we make this crease? How do we know where this point is down? If we look at it like this, we can see that from here to here is one and here to here is two. So this goes 
in one straight diagonal and this distance is the same on both of them basically here and here as well so we need to make one extra unit down so what I'm going to do is make a valley fold on this crease and then make this crease by lining it up with this crease that will give us the correct distance we need so make a valley fold here fold it up and then fold it back down while aligning it with this crease so that is the valley fold and then if you can see already we have the crease under it not too far away there we basically want to make the crease right on this black line that you can see I'm going to fold it down and then just align up so it starts from the center all the way to the edge until it hits the diagonal actually so like that and then crease unfold it and let me quickly color it in Which makes that one. So we have just made this crease, which is this one here. Now we can make the divisions so up and then down on the first square, which is this one. So we're going to go up halfway and then down halfway. Halfway, and then down halfway, so like that. Now we are going to go up. We made this one, and then we're going to go up one full one, and then half a one. one full one and then half one oops I'm too close and then we are going to make the halfway mark right here to connect this point to this point which is right here like that. So let me quickly colour in these creases to see exactly what I have made. These are the creases that we have made. Much easier to see now. So we have went up half, down half, up a full one, up half and then made the halfway mark from this crease to this crease. Which is exactly what the crease pattern shows. Now we are going to make a few more creases and then you're on your own. So this one and this one which is here to here. So we're going to do that then now. What was my one? Yeah, I was going to make the full one there for a second. There. There. And now we can do the divisions. We can fold this point, this crease here, by taking this edge to this edge just to make the halfway mark. And then the same here, and then the same for the end one. So we're going to do that. that and then I'll just fold this one down like that and then 
this point, let me check the crease pattern, yep, this point here. Like that. Now, when I colour this in, you're good to go. There. That is it. That is the last amount of creases I am going to show. What I want you to do is repeat everything that we've done on this side. Let me just show. We have made this one. There. Yeah. So repeat all the creases we made on this side, on this side. And you will have this. So this is all the creases that we have made on the crease pattern which you are able to now make the rest of the creases in here. The problem's out. So you just need to start bouncing off the creases off one another. You have all the points you needed except one or two but you can manage that. So I'm going to make a part two on collapsing. I will get to pre-creasing this as quick as possible. And hopefully it should be up soon. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And good luck on making the rest of those.